While we tend to think of electricity as a modern invention, there is an evidence to suggest that ancient cultures had knowledge of electrical principles. I have found seems to be a definitive example of how the electrical current was made and used in ancient world. Dendera light bulb Dendera light bulb is a controversial interpretation of a relief found in Hater Temple complex in Dendera, Egypt. This relief depicts that some people claim to be a representation of an ancient electrical light bulb. The scripture reads that God Horus emerges from the lotus flower, as the light would emerge out of the switched on electrical bulb. The jet peeler is an image of an insulator, baboon with knife standing right next symbolizes the danger of electricity. So to sum up, we have it all, the bulb, the socket, the cables, the filament. And the only question is left to answer is, where did the electricity come from? One of the most famous examples of an ancient electrical device is a Baghdad battery. This artifact found in Iraq that date back to 250 before Christ. The artifacts consist of a clay jar, an iron rod and a copper cylinder. The jar is thought to have served as a container for acidic or alkaline electrolyte solution while the copper cylinder and iron rod are interpreted as electrodes. There are theorists that Baghdad battery could have been used as a primitive battery or galvanic cell. As primitive as they call it, we're still using the same damn galvanic cell batteries. AAA, cell phone batteries, car battery, they all create electrical voltage. It uses lead and sulfuric acid to function. The lead is submerged into the sulfuric acid to allow a controlled chemical reaction. This chemical reaction is what causes the battery to produce electricity. A single lead acid cell would produce around 2 volts. For example, a car battery nowadays has 6 cells to produce around 12.4 volts. Obviously, it might not have been a strong current production, but when scientists and researchers decided to replicate the same exact bulb and AC jar battery, the bulb lit up. The system worked. Dr. Egbrecht believes they prove that ancient people developed technology 2,000 years ahead of its time. These three curious objects were found in 1936 during excavations in Baghdad, in Iraq, and uh, they were found all together, one in the other. Now, here you have first of all a ceramic pot, and in this pot was put this copper cylinder, and in this copper cylinder, again, this iron rod was found on top and uh, on the bottom of this copper cylinder, uh, there was found bitumen. And if you take all these things together, this can only mean for a scientist that you have here an electric cell or a battery. The artifacts are currently housed in the National Museum of Iraq in Baghdad. Some proponents of this theory believe that ancient structures such as pyramids of Egypt or Nazca lines in Peru were not only archaeological wonders but also served as energy generators or communication devices. The concept of free energy suggests that ancient civilizations harnessed unlimited or renewable energy sources that have been concealed or forgotten. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe so I would continue bringing to light the true knowledge of our ancestors.